He's going go to, to the Hot Springs. Lake, uh, Lake Hamilton. Lake Hamilton. Okay. So, on number three, this is on the blank notes. We were talking about these two, these two limits. We know this first one is 11. So, we got to figure out the second one and make sure it's 11 as well. E to the zero. So, that's 7 e to the zero, which is just one, right? So, 7. Plus, Plus four. two times two is four. That's eleven. So yeah. What? Okay, lost you. So seven e x e. we're plugging into. Anything to the zero is just one. Yeah. Plus two times two. So e to the zero that's one. Seven times one is seven. Plus four. Plus four. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to do eleven. Seven plus four. I'm talking about the first one. Oh, 12, 12. yeah, 12 three times one. two squared minus one. I feel like three times. Oh, I was like, wait. You didn't follow did order it. of operation? <laughs> yep. Okay, wait. Then okay, wait. then Zimbra, what was three? The third. Um, the three plus two? I don't know. Yeah, it's that the limit had to equal the point. Okay. So okay. we have an actual limit because they were the same from both sides, and it had to equal what f of two was. Which it did. So yes, it's continuous, and those three things are the reason why. Um, I feel good about that. Yes. Okay. Okay. The derivative of an antiderivative. So basically, they cancel each other out, right? Derivative, antiderivative. Because that's actually. Like we're, gonna do like an interval. Mm -hmm. we're not even going to do the interval. Ba boom. Oh. They go away. But since this top has an x in it, you do it's the natural log of 3x minus 1. Uh -huh. And then you have to take, it's like using the chain rule. You have to take the derivative of 3x. Now you can do that the long way. It will work. It would just too long. I'll do it the short way. Yeah, I'd rather just do it the short way. Now, honestly, uh, you, you might have one of these. It's a multiple choice question. Well, it's well, not that hard, but it looks, and it's fine that you guess. How you get it is not really that hard, but it looks nightmarish. We did one of these on a bell work, bell work one time. Uh, you do four minus one. That's how much this little number on top should be. Three. So that gets rid of these two. Because this is your width. That's what this is. This is a Riemann sum. And then what you had here, that's what you plug into the equation. So that's why you, that 3 over n should also be repeated in here. So your answer should be B. But again, you know, if it doesn't show up, or you might have one. It's not it's worth spending a lot of time on. Uh, it's like... You know, I should know this. Hmm? I do know this. Let me pull that up real quick. I, there's a big jump in between the non-calculator... Oh, it's over there. The non calculator and the calculator ones. Y'all wait just a minute and I'll be 